it has been a hot minute since I've been at this park. And by a hot minute, I mean multiple weeks. Not quite a month, but it'll be quite close to it. And I cannot wait to see all these coasters here hold up to some of the stuff I rode recently, like Screaming Eagle, Boss, Batman, Mr. Freeze, and uh, American Thunder as well, especially. So it'll be cool to get on these rides again. Also, get a uh, max out on Justice League because I haven't maxed out this one in a couple weeks since last year. And also, I rode the one at Six Flags over Georgia a little over a week ago. That's when I'm recording this. So I feel like I'll have it down for this one. Cause, I mean, over Georgia's, I did really well for that one. I got 600 something thousand, but that's not even close to what I can get on this one. And I'm actually going to be joined with one of my uh, friends from high school today. So that'd be kind of cool. Not Ryan, this is a different one. But, uh, yeah, this will be a good day, so. Got 11.7 today. We're gonna head on in after a while and get some rides in. Can't go past this point till 11 o'clock. Oh. Eagle's open, so we, we can first train the day. Possibly Zen Ride, too. First two trains of the day on Eagle. First one was a Zen Ride. Second one, I was one of two people on the train. And I'm going down to the boss now. And I've not seen that one run yet, so I feel like I might not be ready to open either that or it's not people to ride it right now. So we're gonna head down there and see what that ride's running like. Cause I rode the or Legend of Holiday World a couple days ago. I almost said Raven, but if you saw my Holiday World vlog from a couple days ago, which I'll put the link to that in the description of this video so you guys can check it out already. Then you recall that Raven was closed all day, so I never got to experience it. So boss would be the closest thing I could compare to Legend. So I'm gonna head down there and maybe get a trimless ride like I did last time. And also while I'm over there, I gotta go take a look at the progress for Rookie Racer and do my own construction update on that because Ellis has sent in a couple of construction updates of this ride already, which you might have seen those on my channel already. But this ride's coming along pretty well. I'm gonna go down there and check it out and see how progress is going because I haven't seen it in almost a month. So who knows? They could be starting to add track right this very second for all we know. So let's go take a look and see what's changed with that ride after we ride the boss. your hands one more time please arms up guys welcome back riders i hope you enjoyed your ride when the ride comes to a full and complete stop exit to your left and have a great rest of your day here at six Flags st louis for those of you guys waiting in line we do have some alternative access riders that are going to be boarding the train if they take your row we apologize however we're going to get you guys right on the next did four rides on boss without leaving my seat all of which were in the front row and it was a lot rougher than i remembered and i did back around freeze and justice league is now open so let's go see if we can max it on Justice League since I wanted over Georgia and I was off with the second screen. 
But that being said, it was a second screen Mac, which I am surprised I got. And then I rode American Thunder front row. It was running quite well. And I forgot to mention about Freeze, but the launch felt like it was, I think, a little bit more forceful than I was originally expecting to. And I've ridden forceful launches like Big Bear Mountain, Thunderbird, and Lightning Rod since I last rode this. So Freeze, I feel like the launch was uh, just as powerful as I remembered. ride back in April but then again it wasn't as good as Blue Hawk which Blue Hawk is way better than Ninja in my opinion and the part of the ride that was rough for me today usually it's the sidewinder that's the roughest part that wasn't that bad today but the turn out of the corkscrews that is the part that got me it was a lot rougher than I was expecting it to be like uh, my hand was in between my head and the restraint so the jar pushed my uh, head into my hand into the restraint so that was not great it was that or the other way around I forget it was like restraint to hand to head whatever but uh, yeah, mine train over here, I don't think that's open in the day because we got, literally got two trains just sitting there on the right there. One of them's on the train track, the other one's literally just on the track that approaches the first lift hill. So yeah, natural dial open. And uh, my friend whose name was uh, Kate, she was going to ride Sky Screamer. And I don't feel the need to ride that one right now. So I was going to get some shots of Boomerang and maybe also Screaming Eagle, but I haven't seen Eagle run. What you got? Ninja going there. Boomerang, I haven't seen run. Well, I did see Boomerang run just a minute Eagle, I have not seen, so. We'll catch a ride on Boomerang or so after Skyscraper. Front row. I don't know which I like better on freeze today, front row or back row. Both were pretty equal. 
I will say that the front made the ground a little bit, as usual, but... That was really, as for Boomerang, I think that might have been the fastest I've ever seen the thing take the first half. Like, it was going way faster than what I'm used to. And now we're gonna hop on Log Flume and see how that was. Rode Log Flume a few minutes ago, and, uh, it was alright. I got more wet than my friend did, and, uh, she had to head out, so... I'm on my own now, but if anything that means I'll have more time to ride uh, Justice League and get some more shots on But we got a lot done. I mean, we got on almost every coaster here. Uh, we never got on Batman or Screaming Eagle, and then obviously Pandemonium, and then River Command was close. We got on multiple things today, so overall I have uh, nothing to really complain about. But I still got the, about half the day left, so instead of leaving, might as well get, make the most of it and uh, get some more rides in. So let's go do a few more on Justice League. Four rides in a row there on Justice League, and I killed it on the first one. It was like a crazy dual wheel. They got like over 600,000 with it, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, now I'm gonna go up and get some more footage, because I haven't gotten too much today. I'm trying to hang out with my friend when I put the leave, and I've been uh, doing Justice League ever since then. So I'm gonna, what you call it? Uh, I guess I'll get some more footage of maybe Boss or Pandemonium, so I hang out that direction. So let's do that. I didn't think it'd be open today, but might as well use the time to get some shots of Mr. Freeze from the queue line and uh, get some cool shots of it coming down the launch tunnel from there with my uh, camera because I'll have a better zoom on it. So let's go see what cool shots we can get in the drive from here.
one coaster that Kate and I did not get to do earlier that we wanted to was Batman. So I figured might as well ride it now. Plus I've done pretty much every other major coaster here, with the only exceptions being Pandemonium and River King Mine Train after this one. Mine Train is closed all day and then Pandemonium, ah, I don't feel the need to ride it. So I'm gonna ride Batman because it would feel stupid not to ride it after doing Ninja and Boomerang, but not this. So I might as well Dave, go right on this one. I actually don't know when the last time I rode back row on this ride is. Yeah, I think it depends on the line show, right? Even, even then, I might just try the back because I haven't done it in forever. Oh, man. I think they might be on two trains on this ride, which I think that's the case because uh, it seems like they're uh, setting them out at least semi-faster than normal, if I had to guess, but I'm not 100% sure that's the case. Not, I'm, for all I know, I could be wrong. They could be running only one train. So let's go take a look at Batman and see what the line's like and maybe just do back row because I haven't done it forever. Although it would be nice to try front again, but I would probably rather just do back row if the line isn't bad. First back row ride on Batman in forever. And the funny thing is, when I visited Carowinds both last year and this year, my first ride on this afterwards was back row on this. And last year I said Batman was way more intense than Afterburn. This year I retract that statement. I think Afterburn was more intense than Batman. Afterburn was insane if you saw my Carowinds vlog. But you know that I was really impressed with Afterburn this year. And now I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I might go ride Justice League once or twice more and then go get some more shots of Mr. Freeze. And maybe do a last ride on Bosch for today. I don't know. I might do it, but then again, it would be all right if I didn't. So I rode four times in a row this morning and uh, we got a train coming out now. So here we all come. Now I gotta give up because I can't talk at the thing. I'm being way too loud to look at the anti roll back devices. Missouri's Coaster Capital. Wow, they still have some uh, things talking about when it was called Missouri's Coaster Capital rather than uh, the Gateway to Thrills now. Also, wait, is that our boomerang? I can't tell if it is, honestly. It might be, but at the same time, it almost looks like the one from Fiesta, Texas. I think it's our boomerang, but it looks very different, though. Although, I don't know what that is. But yeah, we got I see Boss up there, Ninja, Eagle Freeze, Pandemonium Batman. I don't see, uh, I think that's American Thunder right there. I don't see Mind Train, though. So yeah, they got uh, pretty much all the coasters up there. And I'm uh, just using this as a different way to get to uh, Justice League and Freeze because it's so hot outside. I figured why not catch some AC for a, little few, for a few minutes. It's almost 5.30, park closes at 7. Let's start the marathon a little early today. Started my marathon with uh, Max and I think 400 something thousand in car six. I could have done better, but the problem is every time I did the spam technique, it didn't register every single one of my hits, so it's not the best car for me. So I'm gonna try a different one. I'd like to think, try and get car five because that is my best car in the ride, I think, as of now. So let's see if we can get car five. If not, something else. Like I saw seven was going, so that would be cool to get that one, but let's try for car five if we can. I totally see a double max happening at some point tonight. My last ride in car five, I got all nines and then I got 732,000 things on second blaster. I could have double maxed it, but the problem is it wouldn't do the spam technique after shooting it for whatever reason. So I don't know what was wrong with it. What I could do is try red and green of car five and see if that works, but I'm not sure if red and yellow of car five is the way to go for right now. Cause that yellow blaster wasn't working as well as it theoretically could have. And therefore I messed up maxing like, I think I was like just short of 900,000 when the first blast was going into the second speed. So that was close. So I thought I could honestly break 900,000 that ride or even max it in the first screen. That would have been awesome, but I don't know. Let's try it again. So we got about an hour left to see if we can get it or not. You do not get much closer than that. I got 999,999, so I'm actually on one blaster on one of my rides. The next blaster, 999,300. Less than a thousand off of a double max. I've never been that close before. I think the closest I've ever been to maxing a single blaster without actually doing it is 998,800. And that was back in 2019. So that was unbelievable how close that ride was. I feel like I'm gonna get it tonight, but my arms are sore right now. So I'm taking a few minutes to let it relax before I uh, get back into it, I guess you could say. But I gotta keep going if I wanted that double max, which I feel like I can get it. So let's see if we can get it.
Park is now closed. My right wrist is sore and sadly no double max tonight. That's okay though. I feel like it was a very, very solid marathon I did there. And we got Mr. Freeze going through there. And uh, yeah, overall it was a good night. And uh, yeah, I thought for sure I was gonna get a double max with that crazy ride I had, but not tonight. Today was a great return visit to my home park after not being here for over a month, or almost a month, i My final ride count from today was 18 on Justice League, four on Boss, two on Mr. Freeze, two on Scream Eagle, one on Long Flume, and every other coaster with the exception of Pandemonium and River King Mine Train. It was a great time here hanging out with one of my friends from school, and even though I should leave early, I had a great time the rest of the day as well. And uh, yeah, I'll be back here on Saturday as well. So stay tuned for that next vlog. And before we click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. And be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. So I appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit the park. So be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.